Theresa May's Brexit deal was voted down by a record majority of 230 MPs and she now faces a vote of no confidence in her government, the Prime Minister has suggested that if she wins the vote, as she is expected to, she will meet with senior politicians from across the political spectrum in a bid to save her Brexit deal. Ms May will present her proposals for a Plan B to MPs next week but given the deadlock in Parliament. It is unclear whether she will be able to get anything through the Commons, given the impasse, the Independent believes it is time for a final say referendum, giving the British people the power to make the decision on how to proceed with the Brexit process, here is what you can do to ensure the UK gets a final say referendum, 1. Sign the petition at changed.org slash final say first and foremost, if you haven't done so already, sign the petition. So far, we have received more than 1.1 million signatures, making it the biggest campaign in the history of the Independent. As the deadlock continues, the more signatures we obtain, the more sway the campaign will have. Sign the petition and share it online. 2. Email your MP and voice your opinion Ms May lost the vote on her Brexit deal by 230 votes and you can see how your MP voted by clicking here. Now that the Prime Minister's deal has been rejected, MPs will have increased influence over the Brexit process, so if you want a final say referendum, you should contact your MP, you can find your MP's contact details on the Parliament website. Send them an email to tell them how you feel, what you think is the best course of action and what issues matter to you. You can also download the suggested email by clicking here. Created with Sketch created with Sketch. Today the Independence Final Say campaign and People's Vote delivered to 10 Downing Street their respective petitions calling for a public referendum on Theresa May's Brexit deal out to our Christian Broughton, editor, The Independent, Justine Greening, Conservative MP for Putney, Labour MP for Streatham Chuka Amunat, Laura Ann Spirit from People's Vote, Caroline Lucas, Green Party MP for Brighton Pavilion, Holly Baxter, co-editor Independent Voices and Christina Cosi Edwards from People's Vote hand in a petition to Downing Street front row out to our Christina Nikosi Edwards from People's Vote, Caroline Lucas, Green Party MP for Brighton Pavilion, Labour MP for Streatham Chuka Amunat, Christian Broughton, Editor, The Independent, Vince Cable Libdom MP for Twickenham, Laura Ann Spirit from People's Vote and Justine Greening, Conservative MP for Putney The Independent's Editor Christian Broughton delivered over 1 million final say signatures and People's Vote spokesman Chuka Amunat MP delivered 300,000 signatures to Downing Street on Monday December 3rd at midday A supporter of the second referendum helps Vince Cable Libdom MP for Twickenham out of the rain during a protest El Tar, Labour MP for Streatham Chuka Amunat, Laura and Spirit from People's Vote, Christian Broughton, Editor, The Independent, Caroline Lucas, Green Party MP for Brighton Pavilion, Justine Greening, Conservative MP for Putney and Christina Cosi Edwards from People's Vote on their way to hand in a petition to Downing Street, Christian Broughton, Editor, The Independent, Justine Greening, Conservative MP for Putney and Labour MP for Streatham Chuka Amunat hand in the petition to Downing Street, Caroline Lucas, Lucas, Green Party MP for Brighton Pavilion, Labour MP for Streatham Chuka Umuna and Justine Greening, Conservative MP for Putney Hand in petitions to Downing Street Today the Independents' final say campaign and people's vote delivered to 10 Downing Street their respective petitions calling for a public referendum on Theresa May's Brexit deal out to our Christian Broughton, Editor, The Independent, Justine Greening, Conservative MP for Putney, Labour MP for Streatham Chuka Umuna, Laura and Spirit from People's Vote, Caroline Lucas, Green Party MP for Brighton Pavilion, Holly Baxter, co-editor Independent Voices and Christina Cosi Edwards from People's Vote hand in a petition to Downing Street front row L to R. Christina Cosi Edwards from People's Vote, Caroline Lucas, Green Party MP for Brighton Pavilion, Labour MP for Streatham Chuka Amunat, Christian Broughton, editor, The Independent, Vince Cable Libdom MP for Twickenham, Laura and Spirit from People's Vote and Justine Greening, Conservative MP for Putney The Independent's editor Christian Broughton delivered over 1 million final say signatures and People's Vote spokesman Chuka Umuna MP delivered 300,000 signatures to Downing Street on Monday, December 3rd at midday. A supporter of the second referendum helps Vince Cable Libdom MP for Twickenham out of the rain during a protest. El Tar, Labour MP for Streatham Chuka Umuna, Laura and Spirit from People's Vote, Christian Broughton, Editor, The Independent, Caroline Lucas, Green Party MP for Brighton Pavilion, Justine Greening, Conservative MP for Putney and Christina Cosi Edwards from People's Vote on their way to hand in a petition to Downing Street. 
Christian Broughton, Editor, The Independent, Justine Greening, Conservative MP for Putney and Labour MP for Streatham Chuka Umunahan in the petition to Downing Street, Caroline Lucas, Green Party MP for Brighton Pavilion, Labour MP for Streatham Chuka Umuna and Justine Greening, Conservative MP for Putney Hand in petitions to Downing Street 3, keep sharing on social media take a picture of yourself holding a sign that says, I want a final say, and then post it on social media with the hashtag. Every single post helps to keep the momentum going. You can also download the final say post there by clicking here, which you can print out or share on social media. 4. Labor members can influence party policy The Labor Party's official policy is to push for a general election, in the event of Ms. May's deal having been rejected by the Commons. It is being done through a motion of no confidence but if this proves to be unsuccessful the party's policy is to keep all options on the table, including a final say. Referendum More than 70 Labour MPs came out in support of having a referendum and Labour's Brexit spokesperson, Sir Keir Starmer, has called for discussions on the issue in Parliament. If you're a Labour Party member, get in touch with the constituency Labour Party and speak directly to your local councillors and MPs, parliamentary candidates. There could soon be a shift in Labour Party policy and members voicing their opinions is likely to have a major impact, created with sketch. Created with sketch. Final say campaigners take part in the People's Vote March for the Future in London the 20th of October 2018 protesters wearing final say shirts and holding placards red smoke from a canister hangs in the air as around 100,000 demonstrators marched through London during a People's Vote anti-Brexit demonstration savings banners and placards anti-Brexit People's Vote March for the Future in London Mayor of London Sadiq Khan takes part in the People's Vote March for the Future in London, a march and rally in support of a second EU referendum. MP Chuka Amuna, left, and MP Vince Cable, right, as MP Anna Subri, center, addresses anti-Brexit campaigners at a rally after the People's Vote March for the Future in London, a march and rally in support of a second EU referendum. Demonstrators with banners We're with EU, during the People's Vote March for the Future in London, Britain, the 20th of October 2018. Reports state that the March for the Future is to be led by a column of young people and call for a people a circumflex Euro's vote on the Brexit deal. After marching through central London, there will be a rally on stage in Parliament Square, including speeches from Mayor of London Sadiq Khan. Editor of The Independent Christian Brown speaks to demonstrators in Parliament Square after they take part in a march calling for a people's vote on the final Brexit deal, in central London on October 20, 2018. Britain's dreading life outside Europe gathered from all corners of the UK to London on Saturday to try to stop their country's looming breakup with the EU. Anti-Brexit campaigners take part in the People's Vote March for the Future in London, a march and rally in support of a second EU referendum. Final say campaigners take part in the People's Vote March for the Future in London the 20th of October 2018 Anti-Brexit campaigners take part in the People's Vote March for the Future in London, a march and rally in support of a second EU referendum. Demonstrators hold placards as they take part in a march calling for a people's vote on the final Brexit deal, in central London on October 20, 2018. Britain's dreading life outside Europe gathered from all corners of the UK to London on Saturday to try to stop their country's looming breakup with the EU. Final say campaigners take part in the People's Vote March for the Future in London the 20th of October 2018 campaigner wrapped an EU flag Final say campaigners take part in the People's Vote March for the Future in London the 20th of October 2018 demonstrators passed Trafalgar Square as they take part in a march calling for a people's vote on the final Brexit deal in central London on October 20th 2018. Britain's dreading life outside Europe gathered from all corners of the UK to London on Saturday to try to stop their country's looming breakup with the EU. Demonstrators wave Union and European flags and hold up placards as they pass Trafalgar Square, taking part in a march calling for a people's vote on the final Brexit deal, in central London on October 20, 2018. Britain's dreading life outside Europe gathered from all corners of the UK to London on Saturday to try to stop their country's looming breakup with the EU.
Demonstrators hold placards as they take part in a march calling for a people's vote on the final Brexit deal, in central London on October 20, 2018. Britain's dreading life outside Europe gathered from all corners of the UK to London on Saturday to try to stop their country's looming breakup with the EU. A demonstrator holds a message during a march calling for a people's vote on the final Brexit deal, in central London on October 20, 2018. Britain's dreading life outside Europe gathered from all corners of the UK to London on Saturday to try to stop their country's looming breakup with the EU. Anti-Brexit campaigners take part in the People's Vote March for the Future in London, a march and rally in support of a second EU referendum. Demonstrators take part in the People's Vote March for the Future in central London, Britain, the 20th of October 2018. Reports state that the March for the Future is to be led by a column of young people and call for a people a circumflex euro s vote on the Brexit deal. After marching through central London, there will be a rally on stage in Parliament Square, including speeches from Mayor of London Saadi Khan a protester brandishes an independent t-shirt during the Brexit march anti-Brexit campaigners take part in. The People's Vote March for the Future in London, a march and rally in support of a second EU referendum Tens of thousands of people take part in People's Vote March for the Future in central London. March organized by the People's Vote campaign is led by young people calling for a people's vote on the Brexit deal. Anti-Brexit campaigners take part in the People's Vote March for the Future in London, a march and rally in support of a second EU referendum. Final say campaigners take part in the People's Vote March for the Future in London. The 20th of October 2018 protesters wearing final say shirts and holding placards red smoke from a canister hangs in the air as around 100,000 demonstrators march through London during a People's Vote anti-Brexit demonstration savings banners and placards anti-Brexit People's Vote March for the Future in London Mayor of London Sadiq Khan takes part in the People's Vote March for the Future in London, a march and rally in support of a second EU referendum. MP Chuka Amunat left, and MP Vince Cable, right, as MP Anna Subri, center, addresses anti-Brexit campaigners at a rally after the People's Vote March for the Future in London, a march and rally in support of a second EU referendum. Demonstrators with banners We are with EU, during the People's Vote March for the Future in London, Britain, the 20th of October 2018. Reports state that the March for the Future is to be led by a column of young people and call for a people a circumflex euro s vote on the Brexit deal. After marching through central London, there will be a rally on stage in Parliament Square, including speeches from Mayor of London Sadiq Khan. Editor of The Independent Christian Brown speaks to demonstrators in Parliament Square after they take part in a march calling for a people's vote on the final Brexit deal, in central London on October 20, 2018. Britain's dreading life outside Europe gathered from all corners of the UK to London on Saturday to try to stop their country's looming breakup with the EU. Anti-Brexit campaigners take part in the People's Vote March for the Future in London, a march and rally in support of a second EU referendum. Final say campaigners take part in the People's Vote March for the Future in London The 20th of October 2018 Anti-Brexit campaigners take part in the People's Vote March for the Future in London, a march and rally in support of a second EU referendum. Demonstrators hold placards as they take part in a march calling for a people's vote on the final Brexit deal, in central London on October 20, 2018. Britain's dreading life outside Europe gathered from all corners of the UK to London on Saturday to try to stop their country's looming breakup with the EU. Final say campaigners take part in the People's Vote March for the Future in London The 20th of October 2018 campaigner wrapped an EU flag Final say campaigners take part in the People's Vote March for the Future in London The 20th of October 2018 demonstrators pass Trafalgar Square as they take part in a march calling for a people's vote on the final Brexit deal, in central London on October 20th, 2018. Britain's dreading life outside Europe gathered from all corners of the UK to London on Saturday to try to stop their country's looming breakup with the EU. Demonstrators wave Union and European flags and hold up placards as they pass Trafalgar Square, taking part in a march calling for a people's vote on the final Brexit deal, in central London on October 20, 2018. 
Britain's dreading life outside Europe gathered from all corners of the UK to London on Saturday to try to stop their country's looming breakup with the EU. Demonstrators hold placards as they take part in a march calling for a people's vote on the final Brexit deal, in central London on October 20, 2018. Britain's dreading life outside Europe gathered from all corners of the UK to London on Saturday to try to stop their country's looming breakup with the EU. Demonstrator holds a message during a march calling for a people's vote on the final Brexit deal, in central London on October 20, 2018. Britain's dreading life outside Europe gathered from all corners of the UK to London on Saturday to try to stop their country's looming breakup with the EU. Anti-Brexit campaigners take part in the People's Vote March for the Future in London, a march and rally in support of a second EU referendum. Demonstrators take part in the People's Vote March for the Future in central London, Britain, the 20th of October 2018. Reports state that the March for the Future is to be led by a column of young people and call for a people a circumflex Euro's vote on the Brexit deal. After marching through central London, there will be a rally on stage in Parliament Square, including speeches from Mayor of London Saadi Khan a protester brandishes an independent t-shirt during the Brexit March anti-Brexit campaigners take part in. The People's Vote March for the Future in London, a march and rally in support of a second EU referendum Tens of thousands of people take part in People's Vote March for the Future in central London. The march organized by the People's Vote campaign is led by young people calling for a People's Vote on the Brexit deal Anti-Brexit campaigners take part in the People's Vote March for the Future in London, a march and rally. In support of a second EU referendum 5. Send us your ideas Any other ideas? Send them to final say at independent.co.uk The Independent has launched its Sign our petition here.